Orton Englehart was a farmer, a guy who just loved to tinker. He had a uh, shop. I say a shop, it was really just kind of a little shed. But he had the capability to mold metal and pound parts and things like that. They were ranchers, they were growing oranges. He was interested in uh, water efficiency. And so he tinkered in the shed and he finally came up with a product that was unique and satisfied his needs. It was an impact arm sprinkler. My father and Orton were boyhood friends. My father and mother, in combination, decided they could commercialize this invention of Horton Engelhart. They signed an agreement wherein Clem would take the product and whatever tooling that Horton had and start marketing it. My father was really a good salesperson. He loved people. And he went out to the Los Angeles Country Club and tried to interest the green superintendent and was informed that the water pressures were very high there and uh, that sprinkler of my dad's, his water system would simply blow to you know where. And my father said, well, let's give it a try. Typically at that time, the sprinklers that existed whirled. And so if you had to go in and touch the sprinkler, get near it to turn it on or off, uh, you got wet. With the Rainbird sprinkler, it moved slowly around its arc and they could go in, turn it off, and not get wet in the process. And the fact that it didn't blow up and that the maintenance people liked it, he sold a few sprinklers. He talked his dad into letting him use the upper part of the family barn as a factory. He had no money, so he had to go and get enough of the materials that were required to build a few products. And then he would go out and sell them, and he couldn't make the next batch until he got paid by the customer he sold them to. Clem was doing the selling, and. Mary Elizabeth Betty Lefetra was doing all of the clerical stuff, the invoicing and that sort of thing. The business was uh, much of what was discussed around meals. I've heard about the business and participated in discussions since probably before I could spell the word. They had a product that nobody had heard of that they were trying to sell in a market that really wasn't ready for it. The combination of the two of them is really what made this company happen. Clem Litvatra died in 1963, and so there was a period for about 15 years where Betty Lefetra was running the company by herself. I don't think there was any woman that I can think of in any organization that had the kind of responsibility she did. She was before her times. Most everybody that she would come in contact with in her leadership was male. And so it gave her a great advantage. She was able to use her femininity to deal with men who didn't know how to handle her. And yet she was not overpowering. She just knew how to win gracefully and with charm. She really was in control of this company. And then uh, she retired and Tony Lefetra became president. I worked part-time each summer when I was in high school uh, in a foundry that we operated at the time on the assembly line, very difficult work. One of my jobs was putting nozzles and sprinklers. I would make these sprinklers for eight hours a day and they'd go down this assembly line. I was a little more sort of technically oriented, I guess. So I appreciated what my father could do and his charm, but I was really more interested in uh, you know, how things worked, why they worked, uh, what could be improved. Our job was to uh, use water as effectively as we could, whether it be for agriculture or for landscape. We were able to ride the wave, create a company that was important to the world, our task was to apply water to plants uh, when the skies didn't. Since 1933, Rainbird Corporation has been the leading manufacturer and provider of irrigation products and services. Since its beginnings, Rainbird has offered the industry's broadest range of irrigation products for farms, golf courses, sports arenas, 
commercial developments and homes in more than 130 countries around the world. Rainbird has been awarded more than 450 patents worldwide, including the first in 1935, for the original horizontal action impact drive sprinkler, which revolutionized the food production industry and ushered in a new era in irrigation worldwide. Today, Rainbird offers over 4,000 irrigation products and services. We progressively improve the products so that they're more efficient and have introduced a number of products that will save up to 30%, 50%, even 70% of the water required. We've got smart controllers with attached weather stations that will change the water schedule at your house depending on what's going on. We've got spray nozzles that are more efficient. Our customers choose Rainbow products because of the quality and because of our long-standing tradition of providing great quality. One brand, one company, and you can have an entire irrigation system complete. That Rainbird logo has been around for a very long time. Customers understand what Rainbird is about, and it's about consistency and quality. The intelligent use of water is something that is inherent to the company. Applying water to plants when they need it in the most water-efficient manner is what this company is about.